Welcome back. I want to show you two ways to calculate the velocity of a wave using this FET simulation. Now we can see on the simulation that I've got a mechanical wave that is being disturbed perpendicularly on the right. Watch what happens when I play it. So the disturbance is up and down created by this little green dot on our right and it's creating waves that travel left to right. So we call this a transverse wave since the disturbance or the individual particles are oscillating perpendicular to the direction of the wave. Now to figure out the speed we know from kinematics that all we need to do is use a distance and a time since velocity or speed is distance divided by time. So it's fairly straightforward. All we'd have to do is measure the distance so I could hit pause here the distance this wave travels from left to right to the start of this window is about 90 centimeters and time how long it takes that crest to start at the left and end at the right using a stopwatch. Very very straightforward and I get my formula V is D over T. Now the universal wave equation is exactly the same thing except we use specific parts of the wave. So instead of using this entire distance of this window here that we see in front of us, the entire 90 centimeters, we're going to use a specific distance. We're going to use the distance from crest to crest or from trough to trough. Basically wherever the wave repeats itself we're going to use that distance. This is known as the wavelength. So if I use the distance from crest to crest, I get roughly 30 centimeters and time how long it takes that distance to travel through that window. So all I have to do is step it forward and get my crest at the start of the window, roughly there, and time how long it takes to travel to the next crest. That distance will be one wavelength. So when I hit my stopwatch, all I've got to do is time how long it takes to get to the next crest. So in this case, I can actually step it through after I've reset my stopwatch and see how long it takes for this crest to actually arrive at the window. And when I do that, we see that it takes 1.02 seconds. So my distance from crest to crest was roughly 30 centimeters and the time it took was 1.02 seconds. And all I used was distance over time, except instead of distance, I used a specific dimension of the wave known as the wavelength. And instead of a general time, I used the time it takes for one complete wave to pass, which is also known as the period. And for that, instead of using lowercase t, we use a capital T. Now, we also know that 1 over the period, 1 over t, is the same thing as frequency. So I can replace that 1 over t with f and I end up getting my universal wave equation which says v is frequency times wavelength.